beautiful Karama Lodge. Just enjoying the bird feeding table. So they put clean food for the birds to come and enjoy. On the left here we have a speak weaver. Oh, a superb styling just attacked everyone. So this is the superb styling. You can see those beautiful white eyes. <laughs> superb styling you can see those beautiful white eyes very nice colors of blue iridescent blue and black spots on the wing then here in the foreground we have a yellow spotted bush sparrow sometimes called yellow spotted petronia depending on which checklist of books you're using so those yellow spots are the ones that give them the name the yellow spotted bush sparrow or yellow spotted petronia and this here in the middle is a female of the speak weaver. So this is a male and then we have female behind him. And here we have a nice laughing dove just walking on the lawn. Laughing dove. It's a small dove but very pretty. This is a breeding male red-headed weaver with that dark face mask but very bright red on the head and the bill very pretty bird this is a beautiful hornbill the von der Deckens hornbill so this is the male and then the female above him there A nice rufous chatterer which is related to bubblers. You can see the female bush back hiding there. Here she is. A nice female bush back. Very beautiful animal. You can see her feeding in there. Just enjoying the leaves. Very pretty. Look at that animal. The bush back. Very pretty animal. This is a female because she doesn't have those horns uh, males will have horns and often will be darker the body will be darker than that of the females there she goes white proud sparrow weaver very noisy nice species you can see the white eyebrows that's where the name comes from here we have a nice pair of white-bellied bustard. This is the male with that blue neck and red around the beak and white face. So here we have the female now coming up. Here we have a beautiful family of bright gazelles. One of the northern Kenya specialists. Very beautiful gazelles there. Those very bright white ramps. Most of these are females. Here we have a nice breeding male. Beautiful, beautiful, full grown adult male. With all those nice horns. You can see the horns turn forward at the tip. Here we have a nice elementator Okagama. A beautiful lizard. Look at that beautiful body. So the elementator rockagama just went into the rocks here. They like to bask on tops of rocks, but he wasn't too patient with us, so he's just gone into hiding. And I don't see another one. But these are the rocks where he was perched and enjoying some sunbathing. They do enjoy basking in the sun because reptiles require that warmth for them to be able to energize their bodies. So we are looking through the grasses here and you can see two superb starlings together with a northern red-billed hornbill. It's 
we can see the northern red-billed hornbill has just jumped onto a tree here and he's still being followed by the superb starlings they seem to be coexisting nicely you can see those nice white spots on the wing there beautiful animal the northern red-billed hornbill and you see this one has a dark eye some populations tend to have a pale eye here we have a pair of silver-backed jackals also known as black-backed jackal he's marking his territory there with urine and his partner is hiding in the shade here it is a very beautiful animal you can see him panting just opening the mouth as a way of cooling off a little bit and this guy seems to be leaving the partner quite a long way down Here we are looking at some geranooks, also known as the giraffe antelope. Look at that very long neck like a giraffe. These are females without horns. Here we have a male with those beautiful horns. You can see she looks like she's chewing cud. And they are the male. You can see the Jeranook is using that very long neck as a browser, just like a giraffe feeding on the small leaves of the acacia tree there. And when they cannot reach the leaves, they just raise their legs and they climb on top of the tree using their four legs. You can see that beautiful white throat. You can compare the males and the females by just looking at the head. The male with the horns and the female without horns. You can see the very long legs of the Jeranook and the eyes have a white ring looking almost like spectacles. Here we are looking at some broken branches from the whistling thorn acacia also known as Drepanolobium acacia. And this is good evidence of elephant activity. So we suspect that some elephants had passed here not so long ago because it doesn't look so dry. So the branch that was broken is just lying on the ground here. It's not completely dry. And possibly the elephants were here just a few days maybe. Droppings from a lion. It's quite a sizable amount if I put my hand here for comparison you can see my hand it's longer than my hand actually the lion droppings so here we have just found a leopard tortoise this is an adult and he's just hiding in the grasses here we were just driving past and we just saw something in the grass so he's just cooling off here it's a bit cold so maybe he won't be walking today Maybe he'll wait until tomorrow when the sun is hot and then he can be able to continue walking. And the reason they are called leopard tortoise, if you look closely at the shell, you can see those black spots looking like a leopard skin. That's why it's called leopard tortoise. It's a member of the African small five. Very nice animals. So here we are looking at common zebras and you can see above them there is a greater blue yard starling and then there were some wattled starlings there's a few more coming across there you can see them going below the feet and the starlings sit on the zebras because as the zebras are feeding they scatter some insects 
and then the starlings get their food. You can see a wattle starling riding on top of the zebra, just hoping that he will be able to get some insects there. A group of wattle starlings. You can notice the males, like the gentleman on top and the one to the left sitting up on the branch. You can see the males have black around the face, those are the wattles, and then a bit of yellow. And the females are these ones here, you can see the white ramps just above the tail, and they don't have the black face and yellow. So males in the breeding plumage, when they just, around the breeding season, they'll have very big wattles sagging from the face, almost like chicken. And sometimes you can find big black wattles on the face of the males. Here we have a male and a female wattle starling, the male on the left, the female on the right. You can see the male is much more colorful. And there comes another female. A nice flock of cutter egrets, just flying across the savannah there. They usually roost at night on tops of trees, but during the day they feed mainly on the ground, following mammals, so that they can pick the insects they scatter. And sometimes they'll also go and feed near water bodies. But at night they come to tops of trees and that's where they roost. Here you have a pair of yellow necked sparfowls. Very beautiful birds. Here you have three white bellied bastards enjoying the sunset. And behind them we have common impalas. You can see the male on the left and the female on the right. Here we have a nice tighter fisco. One of the dry country fiscos, and you can see the tail is quite medium compared to the other fiscos with longer tails. Very nice flock of helmeted guinea fowls. There are some young individuals, you can see some that have very small helmets, and the body feathers are not fully developed, so they are not fully attractive, but some of them are full adults. So we have decided to do a short night game drive to see if we can add a few more species and we've just come across a nocturnal species here, the Huglins Corsa, also known as three-banded Corsa. A very beautiful bird, you can see him lying on the ground there. And just a few minutes ago we had a spotted hyena, two spotted hyenas actually, and a few common impalas. So here we have found a hare see him hiding there. During the night game drive. Beautiful animal. There he goes. So you can see some impalas there, still enjoying the evening. Lots of impalas. We have a bat-eared fox. See some reticulated giraffes there walking through the night. It's always nice to see what animals do at night. Three individuals there just having a good night. Here's another Huglins Corsa, the three banded Corsa. So this is our second individual on this night drive. Very beautiful birds. There he goes. Here we have an amazing yellow winged bat looking for insects around the lodge compound. So it is hunting insects and then bringing them back to the lamp there and then it's chewing on them. So if you listen in you can hear the chick 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 just chewing through the insects.